you? I feel like I should be eating spaghetti. So yeah, so my brother is much better at playing the mandolin than, than I am, but it's, it's kind of, it's similar, it's tuned the same way as a violin. And it's got eight strings on it instead. It's a nice instrument. Instead of four, like a ukulele or whatever. But you don't play it the same as a ukulele because it, it's tuned like a violin. So, Mary, it's what a very does your fun little instrument? What does your shirt say? What does my shirt say? My sh my shirt says, "Fighting for Phyllis." Oh yeah, Phyllis from all in. Yeah, We're and fighting. I'm wearing this thinking of Phyllis today. We all love day. you, Phyllis. We love you, and, and your thinking daughters. about um, she's battling some cancer stuff, and we we I know Jill Dyer is here. I know she understands that. So hi we Nancy. Need to pray for hi Phyllis. Tandy. And hi Nancy. Hi Tandy. Yeah, so, all our friends checking in. So if um if you'll pray for Phyllis, give us some hearts. Yeah. A whole bunch of hearts. Yeah. That, that's Phyllis now that we love her and our prayers we are going you, up. We love you, Phyllis. Her. So we've been to Olean, Indi Indiana three times to sing for their kids. And Phyllis is in charge of the kids and the kids choir there and does an amazing job and is one of the strongest, kindest, loving people on the face of the earth that I know. That I And she blessed. makes a mean dilly bar at the Dairy Queen. <laughs> she does. She also runs the Dairy Queen in Olean, Indiana. And, you know, I think one of the hugest blessings about what we do is getting to meet the coolest people while we're on the road singing or doing our thing. Exactly. And, and uh, Phyllis is one of them, the whole Armbrecht family. Keep them in your prayers right now. Absolutely. Yeah. So, tonight, as we promised, and there's Donna Eklund, Eklund, and, and our friend from Atlanta with art. So, tonight, we're talking about sheep. Okay, my first question tonight, has anybody held a baby sheep? Anybody out there? Anybody held a baby sheep? Miss Mary? I have. You had a baby sheep. In Ireland, I yeah. held a baby sheep. And and Miss Darcy, she got to hold the baby sheep. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And, and okay, one more question. If you haven't had a baby, held a baby sheep, how many eat mm. lamb chops? <laughs> Does Not anybody... Me. I don't necessarily care for lamb chops. I don't either. They are kind of like a required taste. I don't kind of like it, but that's okay. There's probably a lot about, about you in Ireland and all over the world that like lamb chops. But anyhow, that's a thing. So, Miss Mary. Yeah, and I, mean, I, have a, I have a sheep book too. I didn't bring it with me uh -oh, today. No sheep book? But it's a great book about sheep. A great book about uh -huh. sheep? About the good shepherd. Oh, yeah, the farmer and the sheep. sheep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that we have that whole book and everything that you read on YouTube. It's a good one. Speaking of YouTube, we're j really close to our goal of getting a uh, a uh, uh, thousand views. Hey, there's Carol. Hi. Uh, 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 our goal on on if I knew how to move. Yeah. So, so if you can share it, so we can get at least we're trying to get one k views this week. I think we're up to. Six or seven hundred yeah, views, to se or almost seven hundred. Seven hundred views. So we need about three hundred more in the next few days. So please sh share it if you know a school, or a preschool, or a um, homeschoolers that could use that song. Grandparents. Yeah. Parents. Tandy says I that uh, lamp is one of her favorites. Ah. Uh, okay. It is. It it's, is. It's, okay. it's It's okay. We're gonna bring them out. And there's Tracy. Hey, Tracy. Good to see you. So, you are my shepherd. You are my shepherd. I am your lamb. I am your lamb. Take my heart. Take my heart. All that I am. All that I am. I will follow. I will follow. Where you lead. Where you lead. Take my heart. Take my heart. All of me.
I so miss Mary. Yeah. You need to check out my heart. Okay. Check okay, your check heart. Check my heart because tonight is our theme. In the Bible, we know that, like I said earlier, uh, when I, I told you all to come, sheep and lambs are mentioned in the Bible almost 500 times, wow. more than any other animal. Wow. That's a lot. In my heart. Can you oh, grab my heart? Yeah. You've got a black sheep in your heart? Yep. Is, yep. I got is that sheep. you? Uh, no, that's not me. I'm a green okay. sheep. Okay. And, and you then, got a white sheep. Yeah. Did you know that 25%? He's cute. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah, that twenty. I think the 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 black sheep it came from um, Ireland. Yeah. So, but they can all get along too. It's amazing. Yeah. And and yeah, but twenty five percent of all the sheep, I didn't know this, are black. And yeah. and some people say, oh, you're a black sheep and you wandered away. Actually, being a black sheep is a good thing, not a bad thing. A black sheep. Do you know? Black sheep don't get eaten by the wolves at night. That's right, I don't know. They, 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 they have cover. The white sheep are like, they they can be seen. That's right. So so black sheep is not a bad thing. Oh. So, so I but, always felt like a black sheep in my family. Anybody else? No, hey, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's rare, and it's being rare and unique is a good thing, I think. Yeah. So, but, so I was studying up on sheep today. Mm -hmm. Miss Darcy and me, we were like watching things, mm -hmm. and there was this farmer who was taking all these people on a tour of, of because he was a sheep farmer, uh -huh. and he had all these different people. He showed them how to call the sheep, uh -huh. and he let them all try to call the sheep one at a time, mm -hmm. and the sheep would not come. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Like five different people called and, and shouted for them. Here, sheep. Yeah. Here, sheep. And it, they, they tried to do it just like him, and you know what happened? They ignored the strangers. Oh. Yeah. But then the shepherd farmer, yeah. he called them and their heads all went up, up in the air and they started looking and they started running towards them. Is that him. why they says the sheep know their voice? Yeah, the sheep knows the, the voice. It's of like them. Lucy. It's just like my dog. My dog knows my voice. Are you a shepherd? Well, to Lucy I am. Yeah, you'd be her mommy. <laughs> <laughs> but... That's the illustration that, you know, you see the sheep in the Bible, they, they are in reference uh, of to us, that we know the shepherd's voice. Mm -hmm. And when he calls on us, we listen and we follow. That's right. So, I, you're going to put a scripture back in my heart. I am. And, and the scripture we're going to put in, we have, man, there's so many sheep scriptures we can put in. Um, I like the one, my sheep, it's in John. 10, 27, mm -hmm. it says, my sheep listen to my voice, and they and I know them, and they follow me. There you so go. Put that back in my heart. Right there you go. Because I am going to follow the Lord. But I discovered something else today about sheep, and I kind of wasn't very sheep educated. That the, the female sheep are called lambs, or are ewes. Ewes. Yes. And the baby sheep are called lambs. And the boy sheep are called rams. I didn't wow. know that. Wow. Did you know that? No. Oh, I didn't know that. So, but anyhow, sheep. Oh, 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 oh. And, and one more thing. I will talk about sheep again. But one more thing I, I liked about the sheep. It was, um, hold on, I gotta look at my notes. Oh, this was kind of disgusting. You see, sheep, you know why the good shepherd has to lead them around? The, this uh, young boy talked about how he got to work on a, a as a shepherd on the, mm -hmm. on the field. Mm -hmm. Well, the sheep, if you didn't herd them around, they would just keep eating in the same spot. Mm -hmm. And they wouldn't look around. And, and eventually, if you don't move the sheep, they just eat the dirt. Ooh, ah, that's yeah. not good. That's pretty dumb. Yeah, well, yeah, the sheep aren't like the smartest tool in the shed. Yeah. No. So, that's unfortunately, why we need we, a shepherd, right? That's right, because he will lead us to green pastures. That's right. And so, besides still waters. I mean, sheep will Psalm eat. Psalm 23. Yeah. Sheep will eat anything if the pastor doesn't show them green pastures. Um, yeah, that's kind of true. And sometimes they're lost. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You have to, they get lost. They get really lost. Yeah. So, you guys, find some green pastures. Don't stay in one spot and eat the dirt. That's right. <laughs> yeah. So what are we singing, Miss Mary? Oh, Farmer and the Sheep. I like you this song. Put your dancing shoes on.
he looks low. He looks low. And he looks to the mountains and the rivers below. Oh no, he can't sleep. He can't sleep. Until he finds his little lost sheep. Oh no, he can't sleep. He can't sleep. Until he finds his sheep. Here she be. Here she be. Here she be. Australia. She knows Goodness. about sheep. Yes, she does. <laughs> so, okay, listen up, everybody. Please go to YouTube if you haven't signed up for our channel. Thank you. Oh, eighty-four percent of the people that watch our channel are not signing up. So yeah, just, you have to just hit the little subscribe. It's and free, it doesn't free, cost free. anything. It just helps us, right? Just a little yeah, bit. Just a little bit. And and don't forget to watch and, and to share. If I knew how to moo. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Hey, Tracy's got sheep up there. I see those sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a sheep party again and tell you more facts about oh, why we're called we sheep. like sheep yeah. have gone astray. Oh, we like sheep have gone astray. Well, I, I don't you, want to go astray. Well, you got to not go astray. Never, never go never astray. Never go astray. Listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd and follow his voice. And that's, that's right. a very, very good thing. Yeah. So, well, Miss Mary, you yeah. can tell anybody what you've been doing this week. What have I been doing this week? Yeah. Oh, it's been really busy week. I've had a lot of company for dinner. Company outside. outside. Socially distancing. Yep. Yeah. And we've been talking to artists all over the world. Yeah, because we we're doing more um, animation. Mm -hmm. 